costume trek. Today, I'm here with Alexis Noriega of the Crooked Feather. Alexis makes these amazing mechanical wings. So I understand you did something for a Miss USA International competitor? Oh yeah, those ones were weird. We were kind of brainstorming what she could do and she showed me a, an old Miss Universe picture and that we started talking and I was like, well, you don't want to copy an outfit. Everybody in the pageant world is going to know this outfit. Right. What can't, you know, if you want wings, like let's think outside, what, the, outside, box. outside the box. And originally we were going to do like Orville Wright kind of steampunky wings mm -hmm. and then uh, we decided to go with the moon because the USA is the only country that has made it onto the surface of the moon. I did a little cool spacey jetpack with like rockets and there was tool and uh, dry ice coming out of them and then there was a big moon behind her Wow. Head. Yeah. Those were fun. They were weird. <laughs> I'll, yeah. I'll, like Definitely I said, I'll do anything. Different. I'll do anything. <laughs> like if people want me to make something weird, I'm like... I've um, made a couple of sets for R. Kelly, uh, and a set I've sent for Lady Gaga. That's fantastic that you're making enough wings to make a living doing that. Cause... Yeah, well, and it was rough for um, about a year, but if sure. you love what you're doing, it will eventually be reflected in your life, and so we pushed for it, and my husband was super supportive, and we just went for it. We're out at the other end, and now I have my own shop. Yay! So does anybody else help you make the wings? Yeah, we've got interns now. Ooh! Ha, that I get to torture. Uh, this is sort, I just posted a thing on Facebook, so like if anybody wants to do an internship to help me out for Halloween, uh, that's open. Oh yeah, that's come nice. on down. And then um, I also have a subcontractor that, you know, I put together some wings, she puts together other wings, mm -hmm. and um, we kind of tag team it. That's kind of what the internship is about, is, you know, you learn all the different parts and pieces and then you get to pick and choose you know once you mm -hmm. you then become a subcontractor and you get to pick and choose the jobs that you do and what you'd like to do oh so has anybody recognized you on the street yet yeah it's weird <gasps> really that's so cool yeah no it's really bizarre though because <laughs> yes. like I, i'll be at joanne and somebody will like tap me on the shoulder and you know yeah. be like oh my god are you this person well and i don't show myself on my website that much <laughs> because i don't well, i don't think i'm photogenic i'm not like, I think I'm cute in reality, but <laughs> I don't know. Like, once I get on camera, like, it's weird. But I look weird. Um, <laughs> like, not a lot of people recognize me, but right. uh, patrons do. Anybody who follows my YouTube channel um, mm -hmm. and my, my, I am on camera showing people what's right. going on in the tutorials. So uh, I've been recognized several times in Joanne, and then when I'm at events, oh, sure. like I'll leave my booth and I'll go get food or whatever, and I'll have someone be like, oh my god, are you this person? I was like, yeah. Do you dream about making wings, flying? I s stay up at night thinking about how to make wings, but I don't really dream about it, to be oh, honest. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, because, like, I, when I'm coming up with some crazy mm -hmm. idea, like, I will, I'll be sitting in bed just like, okay, but if I do this, is that one work? The metal jam is part of So, like, yeah, so, like, I'll, I'll stay up in bed and think about yeah. it, but... So what's your favorite fantasy character, and uh, did they influence your wing making? Uh, I know! No. Uh, he wrote that question. <laughs> uh, there are anime characters with wings, but they're not always my favorite. I think Jabril, mm -hmm. I love to death because she's a bookworm, and I'm a bookworm, um, and she's super powerful, and she has these stupid little butt wings. I don't know why they just, like, what is that? I don't know. <laughs> anatomically she flies the most by her butt. <laughs> Uh, what's your dream project? Oh, uh, I have a lot, and it changes from time to time. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. Right now, I'm, and I'm finally just going to do it because I actually have the money is to do Mercy Swings from Overwatch. Okay. A lot of people inquire about them, but I haven't made them yet, so they're like, oh, yeah, the price. Yeah, and I'm you're like, like a million they're gonna dollars. Light, you know, they're going to light up uh, with a custom program. It's going to pulse. It's going to be awesome. Um, they're going to open and close more than hers actually do because hers like kind of just go eat at a 45-degree angle, and I'm like, you're still not going to get through doors. It's all right. Like that. The other one I want to do that it's, oh, my God, so expensive, is I want to do fiber optic wings. So all the feathers are the fiber optic fabric. Yeah, I did. Uh, yeah. I, I've done. No ideas for you. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I've done uh, work with the fiber optic fabric. I put it on the front of a corset. Yeah. So it's 
expensive. Yes. But it but would be really cool. cool to do. Like, can you imagine, like, at night they would just glow? Yes, I can. Yes, I can imagine it very well. In fact, I think that would go really well with my dragon corset. Mm. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so, show us these wings and tell us what's going on with these guys. So, this is um, a static set. This is a set that doesn't technically move. Um, it's made using this wire here, some chicken wire and some belt. It's pretty easy. Um, this is meant to go on a wall, so there's not much of a back brace. Uh, mm. Normally this would be a little wider and a little deeper so that you have a little more support when you're moving around. But um, yeah, and what's nice is you can pose them if you want to. So. Nice. Yeah, that's nice. And they're um, silver pheasant and rooster. And this, boys and girls, is why she needed a bigger room. <laughs> So tell us a little bit about these guys. These, are, I think, were these the ones that were in the class? Yeah, we, we finished updating the string. I still have to go back in and paint the string. It's a little too bright. Um, but yeah, the there's fabric feathers, and then there's turkey is the second layer, and then the goose shoulder is in this sleeve at the top that's covering up the framework and the um, electronics that are at the back. Want to try? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so that's cool. So when you let it go, it yeah. stops. So you can so like, you can yeah. really adjust. And you can position them like if you're you know you're about to leap off of a building or whatever it is you're doing. Yeah, that's you can cool. pick what angle you want them at. I have to play with these a little more. <laughs> <laughs> you can put them on if you want. <gasps> put them on. <laughs> put them on. Put them on. <laughs> I touch people inappropriately all day long for a living. So. <laughs> yeah. so that's just so that they, I mean, they're normally fine, but you know, if right. you tip forward, that's when it becomes a problem. Right. Well, and if I was to wear this all day long, I would certainly want the support, the support yeah. on the waist, because that's where you want it to live. It's not on the shoulders, because, uh. Yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. And if you need to, like, get the weight off the shoulders, you can usually just kind of stick your butt out a little bit to get the bottom of that back support. There is definitely a feeling of power. It's interesting because I'm like, I feel like I'm a little tilty. Well, you got this way. weight out there. Yeah. <laughs> you like actually feel like you're this much bigger. Like oh, yeah. you're just taking up all of this space. Yeah. You know, and because that's... you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in charge. Yeah, the whole fact that they can move, it's, it's incredible. Yeah, everybody <laughs> needs to buy a pair of these. Really, I, I need them the... now. Thanks for watching Costume Talk. And tune in next week when I grow wings. <laughs> so if you like this video, subscribe and give us comments below on what we can do better or suggestions for a future costume talk. See you next time.